Question number three, four. I think it is. Number four. Uh, what number indications four, of Honourable Winston Peters. What indications of support has he received for the birth, deaths, marriages and relationship registration printing name changed by child sex offenders amendment bill? Dr Jan Yang. Oh, Mr Speaker, at this stage, um, at the first reading of the bill on the 2nd of December 2015, this bill had the support of National Maori Party, ACT, United Future and New Zealand First. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank the member and his party for their support. Yeah. Supplementary question, yes. right honourable Winston Peters. Well, on the basis that national MPs have offered support, are there former national MPs in contact with him offering order, their support? Order, order, there is no responsibility for that question. We well, move. Uh, point of order. Point of order. Point of order. S point Speaker. of order. Uh, but order. He I want has to hear a point of order. He has a bill before Parliament, and I'm asking a quick, strict question that could have gone to a submission, or it could have gone to a, a, a written document, or it could have gone to a phone record. I'm asking him a plain question about support, and you're ruling it out before we even get to the end of it. That's right. I am ruling it out of order because I'm aware of a case of which is completely suppressed, and if the member wishes to raise that, he knows that he can do so via standing orders and made contact with me. He hasn't done so. We're moving on. Point of order, Speaker. Point of order. It's a fresh point of order, I hope. Yes, it is a fresh point of order, Speaker. I'll hear it. Uh, it's one of clarification as well. Uh, what no, what... order. Points of order aren't for clarification. I've well, Mr Speaker, my, I'll, I'll, then my point order. is... Order. I just want to explain to the member, if he wants to raise a fresh point of order, happy to hear it. But you don't then say it's a fresh point of order and then seek point of clarification on a previous point of order that I've ruled on. Mr Speaker, I'm talking about a misjudgment in a legal sense by you order. on the question and of suppression order. laws. Order. Order. Member will resume his seat. I ask order to look very carefully at Speaker's ruling 23.5. And what that in a sense says, that minister, uh, members have a right to raise a point of order, but once a decision is made, that is the decision that's made. Members don't have to agree with that decision, but they certainly have to accept that decision. To continue to raise points of order, attempting to say they're fresh, to relitigate a decision, will lead to disorder, and I will not tolerate it from the member. That concludes questions for oral answer. Oh, order, I call on the government order of order. Order. If the member, Mr. the Right Honourable Winston Peters, continues in that vein, I'll be asking him to leave the chamber for the rest of the day. I call on the government order of the day. A June debate on the Prime Minister.